Hey, today in the coaching call for the Web Design Profit Formula, uh, a question came up about survey software and uh, what's the best survey software or does it really matter what the survey software looks like? And uh, I want to talk to you today about um, what software I use, what I used to use, what I use now, and if design really matters. Because if you look out there, if you're running a quiz as part of your funnel, uh, the big question is, does it matter how beautiful that quiz is? Because because there's some amazing examples out there where quizzes are uh, beautiful and then others that are not so beautiful. <laughs> and I guess the question is, does that make a difference in conversion? So let me, let me show you a couple of things and then I'll tell you my opinion based on what I've done over the last few years. Uh, firstly, JotForm is one of the apps that I use. And so it's the one that I've probably used the most. I really love it. Why do I love it? It's because it has all the features. It has a very simple um, pricing structure. The first 100 submissions per month is free and you get every piece of functionality, but you do get their logo on it, which I think is fine. I've run funnels with with Facebook ads, like people coming from Facebook ads to funnels with the JotForm quiz, with the logo, they weren't paying for it and I didn't have a problem. Uh, the other thing I love about JotForm is that it has this ability to send a PDF to the person who submits the form based on the answers they put in. So it'll customize a PDF and put their answers in and you can put a really nice, I guess, report together and then send it to them and that's part of the lead magnet, right? It's part of the uh, deliverable that they get for filling in the form. And I really like that. I think that that um, makes a big difference and I've used that over and over again. And so I've stuck with JotForm for quite a while. It looks beautiful. You can have a look here and this is one of my quizzes with JotForm on it. And, um, you know, I, I think it's beautiful. I think it works really well. It's beautiful on mobile. And it has this ability to send a for, uh, uh, like a, a PDF at the end with all the answers, okay? So that's JotForm. The next one that you may come across is Typeform. And so Typeform is a beautiful app. It, it really uh, has made its name because it's beautiful, okay? Because it just has a beautiful interface. Uh, and here's a good example of Typeform. One of my clients uses it. You see if you click here, it's got this experience where, you know, everything just scrolls up and it's beautiful, okay? <laughs> it's, it's really nice and you can keep going, okay? But uh, the reason I don't use Typeform for myself is because of that functionality where you can actually um, uh, send a PDF. Typeform at that point didn't have it and that was really important to me. Other than that, Typeform's pretty good and it, it is beautiful. Uh, and so the third option is Go High Level. This is what I actually use now and I recommend using now. So Go High Level is an app that has email marketing functionality, SMS functionality, a website build. It has everything, but one of the things it has is a survey form. Now, the issue with Go High Level is that the survey, if you look here, isn't that beautiful, okay? <laughs> it doesn't look great. But the reason I use it is because it's really, it's integrated into the one solution. So with Typeform and JotForm, what you have to do is you have to use Zapier to connect it to your CRM or your email marketing platform. Well, with, um, with uh, Go High Level, because it's all one solution, the CRM, the, the email marketing, uh, the Calendly, you know, calendar event, it's got an app for that. It's got an app for surveys and it's all built in. And so... Um, that's why I like to use it. It's easier to deploy. Now, it's not as beautiful. Now, does this make a difference? It's a big, really big question. Now, you've got to also understand that most people who use this are going to use it on a mobile device. So this is kind of what they're going to see. You're going to kind of see that. And so uh, that's kind of the view they're going to see of the actual form. Does that make a difference? Well, I've got to say that I've got lots of friends in the industry uh, who use all different types of apps, some beautiful, some ugly, and all we care about is the conversion rate. And so I've seen some really ugly, you know, quizzes, maybe like Go High Level, maybe worse than Go High Level, that actually convert at a very high rate. So does it matter what the form looks like? I would say no. Now, I could be wrong. Um, I'm not saying that it's gospel, but the reality is uh, I would much rather a solution that's integrated, a solution that's easy to deploy, and a solution that's easy to maintain than a solution that looks that little bit better. 
And so I would say, you know, go high level isn't definitely isn't ugly, uh, but it definitely isn't as beautiful as drop form or um, uh, tight form. <laughs> Just forgot the name for a sec there. So um, what's my advice? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I used to use drop form. It's beautiful. And now I've moved to um, go high level. It's fully integrated. With Go High Level, I can send an email with all of the information in the email after, because it's integrated, I can create an email and put all their answers in the email. Now, it's not a PDF, it's an email. I actually like that, that it's an email. It's a bit easier for someone to read through it. And so my recommendation is use something integrated. If it's not as beautiful, it's okay. For a conversion perspective, it's okay. It just can't be hard to navigate. It just can't be hard to use. The usability is more important than the way it looks. So hopefully that's helped you out. If you're looking at using survey software as part of your funnel, and you should be because it really is a great way to help people um, see the gap between where they are and where they need to be. And it really helps engage people so then they book an appointment. And that's the whole purpose of the survey. So get someone from a lead, someone who fills in an ebook from a lead, gets them to actually book an appointment. The survey is the gap that actually bridges the two together. So if you wanna learn more strategies like this and how I you know, convert more clients, more leads into clients, then you can book a scale session with me. It's a 15 minute chat where we um, will look at your business and try and figure out three things, or three changes you can make in the next 90 days to scale your business out. So uh, wherever you are on this page or on the page you're on, click the button, fill in the survey, and um, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye.